And I'll start with a uh, quick review for this book, How to Train Your Mind. It was an average, I would say an average book. Um, not one of the best I read. It's a good overview of meditation, especially if you're not aware of the subjects too much. Very good, uh, maybe for beginners, uh, novices. Now, if you know some a little bit about it, especially if you're you, you're doing it for a while, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you get too much out of it. But it's well written, and I'm actually fun, uh, and uh, um, and it's short, which is good. That's why I'm gonna give this book a three. Let's see the notes. Productivity porn is watching or engaging in what is supposed to help us be more productive. So that's productivity porn. We were just looking on how to get more productive without really getting more productive. Well, those times in which it's harder to focus on the breath tend to be those times who benefit us the most. So those times, basically, it's harder for us to meditate. Those are the times that it's good for us to meditate. More active form of meditation is eating or drinking. Sometimes we're going to have problems uh, because we are inactive. So we can divert or defer to doing more active forms of meditation, such as eating or drinking. When drinking, we could notice the taste, touch, and feel of drinking. If we do doing uh, drinking meditation, what we can do is taste uh, whatever we're drinking, feel uh, how it feels in our mouth or in our hands, and the touch of it and how it feels anyway while walking we can feel the feet and muscles as they work it it is also important to walk slowly so that's what we do in walking meditation walk slowly and feel how the muscles work how it feels on our feet and all, all other places we can feel something According to the author, meditation is not standing in the way of rumination. He says that it's not because you can have other times in which you ruminate. Um, that's what I, I, I wrote according to the author because I don't fully agree with it. I think if you're doing it a lot and noticing it and you ruminate, it, it could interfere. And I definitely noticed about myself that all of a sudden you're, you're noticing you're, you're, you ruminate and you stop because that's what meditation is all about, stopping stop being lost in thought and it's hard to keep the thoughts going when you you notice that that you're lost in thought it's just kind of an automatic reaction for good or bad so but it is somewhat standing in the way of rumination in my opinion the last one stacking habits which is doing a few of them subsequently can help us stick to them so that's generally about habits how we can do it better if we stack one after the other it's easier for us to actually do all of them. So that's for the notes. And again, there is some a little bit interesting point. It's, it's kind of entertaining. So if you're new to meditation, I really recommend if you're not, I would not. Uh, thank you.